Well, I have been asked on several occasions to try to explain what motivated me to help build the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp, which is a camp for children with life-threatening diseases. Uh, I wish I could claim that it had come from some extraordinary religious experience, an epiphany of some kind, but it didn't. I was trying to acknowledge, I think, luck. What an important part it has played in my life, the benevolence of it, and the brutality of it in the lives of some children. And the children who have been there will testify that it is a place that they live for. And the adults who work there will also announce that um, it is a place where they have found comfort and delight in being in the service of other people. Well, it was a gamble when we started in Connecticut, and I never thought it would go beyond that, but now it's astonishing. It's got a life of its own. There's a, a different kind of affection that exists there, and, uh, and that's a tremendous breeding ground for, for uh, healing. Uh, there's laughter and energy. There's no activity that every child cannot join in on. I think that's an important part of the therapy too. It gives the kids confidence that to see someone who've never been there get off the bus and they're frightened and, and to see them a day later, they're, they're really different people. And the sound of the music floating down from on high filled a man's soul and he started to cry. How could he take leave of a world where the sound of a boy's lilting music will always abound? And he got to his feet, and he swayed to the sound, raised his face up to heaven, and threw his gun to the ground. And he walked toward the boy, still blowing his horn, and in that musical moment, the man was reborn. Some responsibility comes with the privilege of living in this country. If it's possible, you hold your hand out to somebody who has less than you have. In a way, we're very effective recyclers. We take the money and we give it back. Camp, what a joyous adventure to look forward to. In a way, the hole in the wall experience begins again when the camp week ends. Through year-round outreach programs in hospitals, reunions, sibling sessions and family weekends. I've heard it said that you can leave camp, but camp never really leaves you. To have some kid come up who's been in the hospital for six months out of the year and say, this place, this, to come back here is what I live for. A pretty potent stuff. I think it's important to have camps like this all over the world because it shouldn't just be here that kids can be happy. It needs to be all over the world. We want kids everywhere to be treated fairly and kindly. That's important, because if everyone is treated kindly, then this can be a better world. Mostly, I, um, I want to thank all of you uh, for, for your uh, generosity, both in t terms of time and money and your devotion to the whole New Orleans gang camps. Um, and I, I get a lot of stuff back, and it's, um, it's the best kind of feedback that you can get, and uh, the contribution to the comfort and the needs of the children are extraordinary. I thank you for it. Um, just lay back and raise hell. Bye. Listen to the voices from the hole in the wall, listen to the voices from the hole.